but you might have heard an eye for an eye, but uh, what about a spine for a spine? Bizarre story. This is incredible story. Amnesty International outraged over reports of a man sentenced to paralysis as punishment. The human rights group says it amounts to torture. Mohammed Jamjouni is following the story from Beirut. And Mohammed, what do we know about uh, this case and what was behind this? Well, Suzanne, it's an absolutely shocking case. A man in Saudi Arabia reportedly sentenced by a Saudi court to be paralyzed because he had allegedly stabbed and paralyzed his best friend 10 years ago. Now, local media reports started emerging about this case over the weekend. Saudi newspapers saying that a court there was sentencing Ali al Khawahir and demanding that he be paralyzed from the waist down if he was not able to come up with around $270,000 that would be paid to his victim as compensation. Now, Amnesty International issued a statement just last night in which they said that this sentence was outrageous and should on no account be carried out. That statement added that paralyzing someone as punishment for a crime was absolutely wrong and would be torture. Suzanne? Yeah, uh, Mohammed, uh, Amnesty also says that there have been other retribution cases, things like even eye gouging, uh, pulling of teeth, you know, at a, at a time when Saudi wants to be seen as having sort of incremental, if, if that reforms, you know, what, what, how does this all reflect on, on the judicial system there? This is not the kind of case that the Saudi government would like to appear in international media. Uh, Saudi Arabia is a very conservative, deeply Islamic country. It practices a very puritanical strain of Islam. And under Sharia law, as it's practiced there, Islamic law, you do have eye for an eye, retribution-style punishments being doled out. The Saudis don't like the media talking about it so much because that is their law over there and because it makes them look, uh, it just makes them look bad to international rights groups and other international governments. But the fact of the matter is it depends on the type of crime that's committed as for if these types of punishments are being doled out. When it comes to uh, murderers, convicted murderers being executed, that is quite common. In fact, Amnesty International reported that in 2012, at least 79 people, convicted murderers in Saudi Arabia, had been executed. When it comes to this type of a case though paralysis as punishment that's much less common you don't hear about that a lot the last time we heard about a case like this was in 2010 when there were reports that another victim who had been paralyzed was demanding uh, that his attacker be paralyzed the Saudi Justice Ministry eventually denied that that type of punishment was even being considered by the court